Hey, what's happening? It's Chris, Redbeard Videos, and ugh, always, always with the facial hair. Seriously, even when I'm trying to give a short message, it's going to continue to be the bane of my existence. Anyway, it's Chris, Redbeard Videos here. I have a little message for you. I'm just gonna drop this in here. So, due to the overwhelming response to one of the videos on the channel, which was the top five overlooked albums by a hair metal band post-1992, or as I would like to refer to it as Nirvana Apocalypse, I am going to post, or I'm going to create a part two. But what I'm going to do for that is because of the, uh, the just a huge amount of comments and suggestions that you, you have all made for albums that should have been included or that you think deserve attention that came out after the grunge movement came and eradicated hair metal as we knew it. I want to put together a new list, but I want you to decide what will go on that list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in six rounds because YouTube limits me to only putting five albums per poll. We're going to do polls and no, not like like Festivus polls. A Festivus for the rest of us. Or stripper polls. Or telephone polls. We're going to do an actual question poll. And each poll is going to have five albums, of which two will make the final ten. The next list will be a top five with five honorable mentions. We'll get ten total. And out of the six, I pick 30 of the albums. Because you guys, I'm not even joking. There was close to 45 or 50 albums picked from all of you that suggested to me of things that I should have put on this list. So I picked 30 of them and I'm going to leave it up to you. And each poll is going to have five albums and the top two from each one of those six polls will make up my top 12. And then we will do a final tally. One last poll of the final 12 to pick the top 10 which will be five and then five honorables, okay? So that's how that's going to go, all right? So starting on Monday, May 3rd, we will start the polls and it will be up to you to pick my next top five overlooked albums by a hair metal band post-1992, or as I like to call it, Nirvana Apocalypse. Please join me, won't you?